What's up, rock stars? Coach Betty Rocker here. Welcome to today's workout. We've got some upper body supersets. We're going to be working our core, arms, chest, and back. Awesome, awesome workout. You'll need a little space to move. I've got an elevated surface, just a simple ottoman from my living room. If you're in the gym, grab a bench. Uh, if you're at home, use your furniture. And of course, I've got some assorted resistance objects. So all I've got a bunch of dumbbells. You could also use water bottles, water jugs, laundry jugs, pretty much anything that's handy for you to use to get some resistance because we want to work those muscles. We're going to be also using gravity in our own body weight today. We've got a lot of variety coming your way. We're going to start out with an upright row. Now an upright row is really simple. It's great for your shoulders and upper back strength. So we're going to be using this motion. Go ahead and grab a uh, resistance that you feel you can do that for 8 to 12 reps and feel free to start out a little lighter than you're planning to maybe go up to. So make sure we have our shoulders back and down as if they were up against a wall. Engage that core, a little distance between your feet and draw your elbows up and back just like this. Up and back. Keep your core nice and engaged. Great work. And that eight to 12 rep range is to really just to help you choose the appropriate amount of weight for this workout. Different rep ranges are appropriate in all different kinds of workouts. The way that we're working today with a circuit style training, I really like this eight to 12 rep range. If you're getting easily to the 12 reps or beyond, it lets you know you wanna grab a little bit heavier resistance for your next round. If it's a struggle to get to the eight reps, well then you wanna maybe go a little lighter. And one thing that's really nice to know is if you repeat these moves again, you will find that you'll either go up in reps with the same weight you used last time, or you'll go up in weight, which helps your body get stronger. It's called progressive overload. We use it in a lot of my programs. All right, last one for me. Feel free to go beyond me. Feel free to stop before me. With these types of workouts, you may not be doing the exact number of reps as me because we're both different. We're using different amounts of weight, and I want you to listen to your body. Move two is a little bit of core and cardio combined. Now you're welcome to do this with your hands on an elevated surface. It can help you balance. So we're gonna start out with almost a slow mountain climber march. One, two. Then I want you to jump your feet up in the air, sending your hips high. One, two with the march. <sighs> Pop your butt up again. One, two. <sighs> Pop it up. Really send your hips up. And you're welcome to do this <sighs> down on the mat in a tall plank as well. And I'll be doing that in round two. I just wanna give you a base, a foundation to start out from. <sighs> last five, four, three, two, last one. <sighs> Popping it up, <sighs> that's so fun. All right, we're gonna go back to the upright row. And I felt super strong with that first set that I did. I'm gonna use a little bit heavier resistance in my second set. My muscles feel warmed up now and I know that I can go up and wait. So really just work with your body here. This is your workout. Here we go, same rules apply. Shoulders back and down. We're just standing in place, working our core simply by holding it in strong as we pull our elbows up and back. No arched backs here. Count your reps. I'm gonna do less reps this time because my weight is heavier. I've got two to go. So for me, coming in at the bottom of the rep range, for you, depending on how much weight you've got available, how you're feeling today, where you're at, you might do more. Please do your set and be where you're at. You're doing great. Just wanna give you all these little tips because strength and resistance training is so effective and helpful for us as women, especially as we go through time. Building that muscle is gonna really help support your foundation, your entire body, especially when you train with me and we build a balanced body, right? Working with those foundations of functional fitness. And I really just want you to have all the muscle to support you as you go through your entire life, protecting your joints, uh, being a great resource to help boost your immune system. All right, let's come back into that plank position, whether you're elevated or down on the mat. March, march, <sighs> pop it up. <laughs> march, march, <sighs> pop it up. March, march, <sighs> pop it up. Save your strength for the pop. <sighs> 
I like, I, I feel like I need to make my little ninja noise. It's like, oh, I don't know, maybe that's not a sound. Ninjas are silent, so that's not a ninja noise. <laughs> okay, I'm a, those are my fighter noises. Oh, last three, two, last one. Yeah. Oh my gosh. How was that? Feeling strong? We've got one set of those two moves left to do, and then we'll move on to superset number two. So I'm going to stick with the same amount of resistance as I used last time, and you may be using the same resistance throughout all three sets, and that's great. Just want to give you all the information so you can make this workout work for you. Shoulders back and down, chest open, core engaged, no arched backs, and again, pull up, lower down, pull up, lower down with control. Keep that core nice and tight, count your reps. If you're using the same amount of weight, try to hit the same number of reps as you hit last time. Great work. Keep breathing. Last one for me. Feel free to go past me and complete your set if you're doing a few more reps. I'm gonna always, always bend the knees to set down our weighted objects so that we're not getting in the habit of rounding the back forward. The heavier the weights that you're holding, the more that can strain your back. So just get in the habit of always using your core, bending the knees. It'll serve you in all of your household tasks, your day-to-day -day life, as well as in your workouts. So we wanna take what we learn here and translate it into our daily life to prevent injury and help us live longer and stronger. All right, plank pose, here we go. Not here for long, march, march, oh, march, 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 you got it, come on. March, march, so good. So close to the end, come on. Last five, four, three, two, one. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that was awesome. All right, moving on, superset number two. So for this one, we're gonna come down to the mat and I'm gonna start out with some super light resistance here. And feel free to learn this with no resistance at all if you'd like. We're gonna sit in sort of a shallow knee bent position. So not knees crunched into your chest, not legs straight, but feel free to let your legs come to straight as we do this. I'm gonna put my weighted objects tight together, like touching, and you may find that you wanna just hold on to one. So what we're gonna do is when we're sitting up, we're gonna press them out, and then we're gonna articulate down, rolling our lower back to touch the floor first, then coming in to fully laying down, press up, Bring those weighted objects back close to your chest. Sit up using the strength of your core. Press out, lower down again. Once more, really making sure that your lower back touches the floor as you come down and as you come back up. Great job. So I know that this can be challenging. If you're finding that it's just impossible to sit up at all using the strength of your core, hook your feet underneath the side of your couch or underneath something so that you have a little bit of an assist. And if you're doing that, that's absolutely fine. You can still focus on the strength of your abdominal muscles and just give them a little bit of extra support. The stronger you get, the less you'll need that. Now I've done a few extra on this because the weights were really a great amount for me to warm up with. So I'm just gonna go ahead and set those off to the side and move into our cardio move. Really simple, we're just gonna get the heart rate up with some jump squats. So you can stick with this move, which is a full body extension if you wanna keep it low impact, but still get the heart rate up. And if you want to do jump squats, let's do jump squats together now, come on. Not here for long, keep that chest up, core engaged, knees track in line with the toes. Nice job, throw your arms back, you can throw them up, you can throw them down. Whatever feels good, you can keep them under your chin. I like to have the movement land lightly. <sighs> keep that chest lifted, butt steps back. Last three, two, one. <sighs> Powerful, come right back down. Coming into our sit up to chest press. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take the opportunity to use a heavier weight this time, because I think that'll slow me down. <laughs> and I'm gonna stick within that eight to 12 
rep range once again. So I'll start with the sit-up position, push out, lower back down, articulating my lower back, press up. That's one rep. Up, press out, lower down, press up. That's two. Come on up. Now you know the count. So your goal is to hit eight to 12 total. <sighs> up, press out, lower down, press up. You got this. <sighs> now, if you went up in weight, you may be doing less reps than when you started, and that's totally fine. If you're staying with the same weight, try to hit the same amount of reps as you did in your first round. Really keep those weights in close to your chest as you're transitioning between the sit up and the sit lower down. <sighs> Great job. I've got about one to go. <laughs> really feeling it. <sighs> and whew, please finish your set. <sighs> you can roll to your side and come up or you can rock yourself up to standing. Doing great. We're gonna move on to set two of jump squats. <sighs> Catch your breath. Just gonna give you a second to transition in case you were finishing your set. <sighs> Remember, if you're ever watching a recording of me, you can pause me if I go too fast for you. That's all good. No judgment. Ready, set, go. Option to take that low impact version of jump squats or to do this more high impact version. There's no judgment in these workouts. This is your workout. And remember, day to day, your body might feel a little differently. You might not have gotten great sleep or had a little high stress or you're in a different place in your cycle. So you just wanna really work with yourself and not push it on days you don't have as much energy so that on the days you do, you can really go for it. Last one. Well done. Really great job. I'm gonna catch my breath and move on to our third and final round of superset number two. Go ahead and grab your weighted objects. Start sitting up, shoulders back, chest open, core tight. Press out, lower down. Press up, come back up. In and up, great work, come on. Out and down and up. Out and down and up. Maintain that good posture, form, alignment as you go. No need to rush this. So strong, so powerful. You're doing amazing. So good, I think I've got one more to go. Lower down, press up. And when you're done, you can set your weighted objects off to the side. Please finish your set. And I'm gonna move on to our jump squats. Last set, just 30 seconds. When you're ready, here we go. Squat and power up. Remember, you can do those full body extensions without the jump anytime you wanna take it out. Hang in there, keep that chest really open, keep that core tight. Send your hips back, knees track in line with toes. Great work, come on. Last set, best set. We got this. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yeah, way to go. Whew. Make sure you're hydrating. I'm drinking some Rock and Restore from the Betty Rocker collection. <sighs> Having some of my essential amino acids mixed with a little bit of my collagen for a bonus booster. Whew. Great to drink during your workout to get those amino acids into your muscle tissue in the most efficient way. <sighs> this does not detract from you also including your protein, your dietary protein throughout the day. This is not a substitute, this is a bonus, right? So you still can be using your protein powder which absorbs in your body just like dietary protein. Your body has to break it down, extract those amino acids out. With this, they're in their free form. So 
it's not really any calories in your system that your body's having to work to break down. That's why you can drink it in the middle of a workout. And it's gonna hydrate you and send the aminos to the muscle tissue where they're needed. Because remember, exercise is breaking tissue down. It's a stressor to your body. That's why you don't wanna train when you're stressed or sick. Mm. Exercise is a healthy stress when we're healthy. So we just wanna do things to support the body, nourish the body. Ready for super set number three? All right, catching my breath. <laughs> Hopefully I'm not the only one. All right, the next move is gonna be a curl to an overhead press. So because of the overhead press, I recommend you start out in the first set calibrating the amount of resistance that you're gonna use a little lighter than maybe what you know you can do for a bicep curl. Just because when we go overhead, we wanna be conservative. Let's test to see how this feels. So we start out shoulders back and down as if they were up against a wall, palms face up, we do the curl. We turn our palms to face each other, press overhead, down safely, slowly lower, palms out, repeat, curl, palms face, press overhead, you got it. Lower down with control in the sort of a hammer curl position, press up, so you almost are getting an eccentric or slow come down for a hammer curl position, which is where your palms face one another. So you're really working the biceps in a variety of ways with this awesome combination move. So our goal is eight to 12. Make sure when your arms are going up overhead, your back isn't arching. This is something that we all have to kind of watch for in ourselves. It's totally normal, but the more you train your core and integrate it with movements like this, the easier this will get for you, just to instinctively do this to protect your body. And if you haven't watched my free Foundations of, Foundation, free Foundations of Functional Fitness course yet workshop, it's 14 days, it's amazing. It'll give you a great skill set that you can use in workouts like this. I've got one more to go and boom, feel free to do a couple additional reps there. And what I noticed is that I can do a bit more weight with a bicep curl generally than I was just using, but I started to get really fatigued towards the end and I wasn't even at the high end of the rep range. So that was the right amount because that combination of going up overhead combined with a curl can really tire out your muscles and fatigue them in different ways. Plus the combination of the eccentric load, deload. Um, okay, for our combo move here, we're gonna do bicycle crunches. Great oblique movement, helps with your counter rotation muscles, which do a lot more than you realize. They're always working to help you with your balance and your stabilization with torso type movements. Our obliques were helping to stabilize us even as we came up overhead. So why don't we lower down onto the mat Hands behind your ears, not to pull on your head, just to guide. And let's go ahead and bring our knees up. We're gonna extend the right leg, reaching our right elbow to reach our left knee, and con continue on the other side. Not pulling on our neck, and we're not here for long, just about 30 seconds total, so make it count. Really extend your leg out. Now, if this is a little bit challenging, or it's too much on your abs, you can alternate putting your feet down as you go. So you're just gonna tap a toe down even as you cross the other knee over. So you always have points of contact. Otherwise, keep the legs up. Last three, two, one. Great job. Come on up. Round two, curl to press. Ah, great job. There was a lot of cardio in those first two rounds, so we're not doing as much cardio this round, more strength focus. So here we go. Curl it up. Palms face, press overhead. Now if you, unlike me, found that your um, weight that you chose in round one was a little bit easy and you could have gone for 12 reps or more, be my guest, go up and wait. Just wanna be within that eight to 12 rep range. It's just there to help you calibrate. Keep those shoulders back and down. Keep your core engaged. Don't let your back arch, especially as you're going up overhead. Great work. Focus here, palms face. We go up, down, lower with control, palms up, curl. Try not to swing the weights. Everything is very deliberate. Use your strength. Good work. I think I've got about two more. Whew. I get tired here. The shoulder presses are really getting me. I love it. Such an effective workout. Whew. Please, like I said, feel free to do a couple of additional reps there. If you had a couple more in the tank, and we're gonna come right into our bicycle crunches. 
not here for long. Lay back down on your back. Make sure your lower back is touching the mat. And let's begin. Keep breathing. Great job, come on. Hang in there, work those obliques. Think about all of this amazing work that you're doing to support your body, your amazing, strong, powerful body that carries you through your entire life. Its entire purpose is to support you. You got this. Last three, two, and one. And when I say that, what I think about is, wow, my body's entire purpose is to support me. What can I do to support my body? I think when my attitude about my body really changed from all about like how I looked to how can I support my body? How can I nourish myself? How can I care for myself? My aesthetic goals, they kind of just appeared <laughs> because they were a byproduct of treating the body well, of loving the body. So just keep that in mind. We all are in different places with our goals and with our resources and time available, but love yourself, love your body. You got this. Mm. Last set, best set. Curl the press. We got this. Ready? Mm. Don't have to be moving fast to be really effective. Shoulders back and down. Curl, palms face. Press down, lower with control. Curl, palms face. Press, lower with control. Great job. Down, release. You got it. Yeah, keep breathing. Great job. Keep those shoulders back and down. Don't let your head and neck or your upper body creep forward. You can control that by being mindful. It can also be really helpful and effective to have a mirror handy so that you can watch yourself and check your form and compare how your form looks to the cues that I'm giving you. And like I said, watch the Foundations of Functional Fitness. There's a different workshop each day, about 15 minutes that you can go through and just check your form, have a little dedicated time spent. If I were training you one-on-one, -on -one, you better believe I'd be teaching you everything in that workshop. So please avail yourself of that free resource. Oh, last one for me. Finish here is strong. Way to go, Rockstar. Come back down when you're ready. We're gonna do our final set of bicycle crunches. Just 30 seconds here. Ready? Get in position. Remember, you can pause the video. I'm going too fast and begin again. Crunch, 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 side to side. Remember you can tap a foot down if keeping it elevated is too much of a strain. That extension of the leg definitely works your lower abdominals even as you work in your obliques. Great work. Hang in there, don't pull in your neck. Just use your hands to support your head. Great job, last five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. All right, moving on, superset number four. Go ahead and get some hydration in your system. Mm. Now for number four, I've got the option to do a tricep dip. Tricep dips are where we are coming off the edge of an elevated surface with our shoulders really open and back, and we dip it down and we press it up. If this for some reason doesn't feel good on your rotator cuff and you feel like maybe you need to work a little bit more on the foundations of the rotator cuff, which by the way is an excellent video to watch, I want you to work on overhead triceps extensions either with a single weight or two weights depending on what you have available. And you can hold it like this or at the top and you're just gonna really hug your elbows in as tight as you can, keeping them parallel, lowering the weighted object down towards your neck and then pressing back up. Both of these are fantastic tricep moves and they will work great. You can also hold two dumbbells and kick your arms back. That's another good one. I'm gonna try the tricep dips and we're gonna do eight to 12 total of whichever thing you're doing. So shoulders back, elbows parallel, regardless of which choice you're making here and lower down and press away. I personally like doing all of the different types of triceps moves great. It's a three-headed muscle. That's why it's called triceps. It's just like biceps, two-headed muscle, thighs. And I like treating them in different ways because you can really target them effectively and challenge yourself. And I also like doing this particular type because it forces me to 
get into that really good strong form with my shoulders. So I'm kind of training my shoulders this way, but you also have to train your shoulders back regardless of how you're doing your tricep extensions. Last one for me, finish your set strong. You got this. And we're gonna move on to cardio. We're gonna blast a little knee driver, a little more abs. So make a little teepee with your hands and you're gonna drive your knees, drive your knees. You're gonna alternate sides. You can kind of do this slow step or you can kind of make it fast and hop with me. Let's go. Yeah, powerful, strong, drive. You got it. Yes, come on. We're not here for long and you pick up the pace. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Woo! Way to go. All right. Oh my gosh. Catch your breath. So good. Now this is our final superset. So I've added a third move to it. We're gonna do a fly to a row. So go ahead and select a weight amount that you feel would be appropriate for you and engage your shoulders back and down, hinge forward to about 90 degrees, row your arms up tight to your body and fly your arms out to the side. At all times, I want you to keep your chest open and we're gonna do eight to 12 reps here. Good, hold your core strong. You got this, nice straight back. Up and back, out. Feel your back muscles working. This is all about your back. So this is a very posterior chain focused circuit. We started with the triceps. Now we're really hitting the back, rear delts, the erector spinae column, which runs up and on your spine, helping to keep you erect. Last one for me, count your reps. Maybe you've got a couple more. Maybe you had a couple less. Totally fine, this is your workout. Bend your knees to set your weighted objects down. Prepare, round two, tricep dips or overhead triceps extensions. Here we go, shoulders back and down. Begin, and if you're using weighted objects, great. Maybe you've uh, gone up in weight, maybe you're happy with where you are. Just really focus on that rep range, focus on your form. You don't have to rush these, you're doing amazing, come on. And if you're um, doing a tricep dip like me and you're like, this is too easy, you can lift a leg, make it more challenging. I definitely didn't feel like it was too easy. I feel challenged right now. <laughs> Last one for me. Woo! Woo! Shake out those arms. We're gonna do those fast knee drivers. Round two. Here we go. Ready or not. Great job, come on. So good. Power, drive, work those lower abs and the upper abs as you're driving your arms down. So good, your lats are engaged. So good, come on, almost done. 10 seconds to go, come on, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Yeah. We're gonna do the row to fly, round two. Whew. Getting through this, doing amazing. Send your hips back 90 degrees or 45 degree angle. Sorry, let me correct that. Shoulders back and we can start with a fly and then draw our elbows up and back for a row. It's a narrow grip row here. So really targeting the rhomboids, the traps, the rear delts, like I mentioned before, the erector column, even a little bit with your lats. You're doing awesome. Really working that back. Strong posterior chain helps support you in all that you do. Really important postural stabilizing muscles in the posterior chain. <sighs> okay, I've got two. That's one. 
Last two, last one. Oh, that was tough. Bend the knees to set down your weighted objects, complete your reps. We've got one final round and you are free. You did such an amazing job with this workout. Are you ready? All right, go ahead and balance your hands or grab your weights. However you're choosing to do this particular move to target those triceps, shoulders back and down, elbows remain parallel. And once again, we're going up and down. Extend and contract. Great job. Count your reps. If you're using weights or you're dipping, try to get the same number as last time. If you went up in weight, obviously that doesn't apply. You're doing great. Woo, I'm really feeling it. Last two for me. Last set, best set. Woo, finishing strong. Amazing work. All right, come on back up. Last set of fast knee drivers. We got this. Just gotta catch my breath. Awesome work, Rockstar. Here we go. Arms up and power. Drive, power, drive. You got it. So strong. This is the last opportunity you have to get these in. So make them count. Come on. Keep that chest up and open. Drive those knees up. Keep moving your arms down. You're almost done. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Yeah, great job. Okay, last move of the workout. It's the fly and the row. Finishing strong, working our back. So select your resistance. Shoulders back and down. Hinge your hips back. Come on up, then come on out. Great job. Feel between your shoulder blades working. Think about those muscles as you're working them. Up and back. Up and back. Same rep range, eight to 12. You've got this, keep your core tight. Up and back. Up and back. Last one for me. Up and whoo, back. Yeah, great job. Bend your knees, set your weighted objects down. Really, really nice work. Hydrate. Mm. So good. Let's do a little chest stretch. Flat elbow, flat wrist up against the wall. Step forward with the same side leg as the arm that's stretching and just lean into this so that you're really opening up your chest on one side. This is just a great move to help you posturally and also alleviate upper back tension. A lot of upper back tension comes from us sitting with our arms in front of us all the time and not stretching those muscles that get really overworked and not strengthening the posterior chain, which we're doing. Let's go ahead and stretch the other side. So open that up, let that feel good. I like to do this stretch a couple times a day. Just helps keep things open, especially because I work at a computer a lot. So I like to really help support my body in this way. You can do some great tricep stretches. And if you're ever looking for specific stretches for specific workouts, there's an entire stretching guide on thebettyrocker.com. That's a great resource for you. It goes through each part of the body. So like for today, the upper body workout, you could watch that video. There's two videos, one for your core and back and one for your arms. That would be a really great support after a workout like this if you wanted to do some additional stretching, which I 
highly recommend. All right, Rockstar, thank you so much for joining me for today's workout. And as always, you're invited to rock your life, along with me and thousands of other amazing women from all over the world. We have awesome 30-day challenge programs. We have new classes five days a week, always variety, always motivation. There's a private women's support community where myself and the Team Betty Rocker coaches answer your questions every single day. We're there to support you, help you along. There's an entire recipe database in the members area for you with tons of really healthy Betty Rocker recipes to inspire you because of course it's not just about workouts. <laughs> you are so welcome. We have a 30-day trial for you. We'd love to invite you in and support you in reaching your goals and become friends with you. We'd love to see you in there. So use the 30 day trial link and check it out. As always, I'm Betty Rocker. You are so awesome and amazing. It's been a pleasure. See you again real soon.